And I wanted to kind of take it back, you know, from all the success now, right to the very, very beginning. And can you remember the moment that you, you would say was maybe the first time that you thought of the series? Did you have a horrible fear of mazes when you were a kid? Was that what it was yeah. like? Yeah, yeah I, I distinctly remember the very first time that the ideas for Maze Runner came to me. And it does go back to when I was a kid. See, I had really bad parents, and they let me watch The Shining <laughs> when I was tiny. And it pretty much scarred me for life. So, but if, how many of you have seen The Shining? Okay. So a lot of you are scarred for life. That's good. Uh, so you know at the end, the poor little kid's dad is chasing him through a maze with an axe, which is just a delightful, lovely thing. And uh, it's snowing. It's just the atmosphere is so creepy. And ever since then, mazes have fascinated me and creeped me out. Have you ever done a corn maze? A maze maze, yeah. yeah. A maze maze? Well, yeah, yeah it can maze be maze, maze. corn here. Do they, they have corn in Scotland? <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, so I love mazes, and then the book Lord of the Flies really influenced it. Uh, I think it's pretty obvious because it's a bunch of boys on an island, and Maze Runner is a bunch of boys in a maze. And then I was watching the TV show Lost. Mm -hmm. Any Lost fans? Yeah, yeah. Not that many. Shame on it's you. long. It is really long. <laughs> yeah, it is. But anyway, uh, and then one night in 2005, all these ideas started swarming into my brain, and I got up and, and wrote down a bunch of notes, and at least half of the story came to me that night.